the World Cup Finals. I'd say the biggest day in Irish international soccer history. Slaughter in Lochin Island as loyalist terrorists shoot 11 people in the back as they watch the World Cup on television. I just remember Mum was saying to us that bad men had come into the pub and they'd shot six people and, and Daddy was dead. Did you see anything? No. The getaway car was discovered the morning after the attack. There was just a sense that something wasn't right. Somebody somewhere helped these people cover this up. We were thwarted all the time. Every question we asked, we were told, we can't tell you that, that's national security. They were absolutely ruthless. I'll never forget their words. We will leave no stone unturned. And those words ring in my ear to this day because I don't think they ever left a stone. Never mind turned it. So I was briefed to go down to Belfast and interview several people. What was unusual is that I was told who I could speak to, who I couldn't speak to, what they would be saying, but just as importantly, what they wouldn't be saying. Certainly the bigger picture was there was this gang in operation, they were involved in serious criminality. Obviously there was things going on above my head. The paper trail will lead to the British government and they cannot allow that to happen. The police were saying the car was destroyed. I thought, hold on. The largest physical exhibit in the case, and you've destroyed it. Ten years with no information, we were kept in the dark. They knew all along about the dirty war. You're taking me into an area that I don't, I don't really want to go to. I can't take the risk. If I can hit somebody early enough and there's a weak one amongst this team, they might start tumbling. How come they didn't do it? Good question. I really do believe it goes as far up to the right to the top. <laughs>